Hello YouTube and welcome to today's review on my channel which today is of the Speedy Stacks Sausage Breakfast Bat. Uh, it seems like a bit of a strange time of day to be doing this, I've just got back from work. It seems like most times that I do any review is, is when I get uh, off the bike from work but I'm in a pretty good mood tonight. Um, my shifts have worked out quite well at the end of the month and uh, I've got a week off I haven't even had to take any holiday for that so yeah let's start the weekend off with a good one uh, Friday night um, so yeah this product I got for one pound um, and I got it in a place called Heron Foods I think I mentioned a few videos back uh, the Rustler's El Nacho cheeseburger that I bought I also got that from Heron Foods uh, it's, it's kind of like similar to Iceland they do a lot of frozen stuff a lot of stuff for one pound uh, and I think they're all around the country um, but you know there's there's one of them where I live in Northampton anyway and that's uh, it's pretty good it, it you know gets quite a lot of use I see a lot of people in there picking up bargains and stuff um, so yeah anyway it's this is literally just um, pork in a, in a bap I think really um, it says up here which that quite interests me sausage breakfast bap uses only the pork that is traceable back to the farm of origin uh, you know whether you could be bothered or not but it'd be interesting to see whether you could ring up and, and find out you know ask them put them on the spot a bit uh, and see what they say about where it comes from but anyway it's 750 watt microwave mine's a pretty weak 180 seconds so 1 minute 20 um, and yeah it comes with there you can see under there the ketchup um, I've cooked it up and I've used the ketchup uh, that it comes with so I'll bring it in and my usual trick now of, of bottom side up and that's cooled down nice now uh, the top I think I've worked it out when you when you put it top down like the other way I, you know it's, it's always likely to shrivel up a bit which doesn't bother me too much it's um, 132 grams you can get on the bottom there and it's you know pretty basic so um, open it up a little bit of sauce that's the sachet that you use I used all of it and it's you know it's fairly decent maybe I could have spread it out a bit it's not a massive uh, sausage patty as you can see sort of around the size you know pretty much all the way around it doesn't fill it but uh, anyway what I'll do now I'll put you down have a couple of bites and let you know how it is had a couple of bites out of that and um, it's not too bad the first thing that hit me was the the actual sauce I thought it's quite a decent nice you can see it's a little bit you know quite red quite nice and tomatoey but to be honest having said that I think the product does need the sauce um, this bun hasn't really stood up too well uh, to the microwave test as some some do some don't it's it's pretty hit and miss I think um, it all depends um, it's okay but it's you know maybe a little bit chewier than the other ones the sausage patty itself inside is a little bit dry I must say um, I'm I don't often have them but a McDonald's breakfast um, double sausage and egg McMuffin you just can't beat that you know they put cheese in that um, and the egg and and the the sausage patties really are moist from McDonald's cooked fresh and you know pretty bad for you but every once in a while <coughs> they're quite nice so 
you know, this speedy snack stuff, you, I don't, I don't think I've ever seen much of it around. I know the big supermarkets don't carry it. I've never seen it in Tesco, Sainsbury's, Asda. But having said that, I don't really go shopping to, to in-store very much. I do it most online. So I think the co-op might sell it. But um, I'll have a look out uh, and see. But for a pound, you know, it's, o it's okay to try it. But I, this is something I wouldn't really go out of my way to buy. I'd rather have a burger. Um, or something like that, even for breakfast, or you know, I'd rather just give this a miss to be honest. Um, so yeah, sorry about the, the delay. Usually, I've got a few more videos up than this, but um, I've, I've had a bit of a nightmare trying to upload a few videos earlier on in the week. I did do some reviews of things, but the videos didn't save properly. Um, I had that YouTube capture app, which is rubbish, don't get that, and also, um yeah anyway I'm going to do some more reviews anyway I'm starting to babble on a bit now um, but hopefully just keep a look out for my, <clears throat> all my other videos thank you very much to BHAFC84 who gave me a shout out on his channel uh, last week for his Pandalo pizza review and also thanks to Sally Button again who comments pretty much all the time on, on my videos and I, I read them all the time I may not reply all the time but I do read them and I do enjoy what you put so thanks for your feedback uh, look forward to the next review and um, yeah take it easy till then alright cheers bye